what's up y'all this is Rodney and I'm back and I'm, I, apologize, I apologize about this angle but I need to go ahead and make these videos while I can because um, tonight baby when I get home I'm going to take me a good hot shower and I'm carrying my ass to bed like my grandmama say carry your ass to bed okay and that's exactly what I'm going to do so I know y'all heard about this scammer um, scammer uh, Wayne T. Johnson um, Joanne, Joanne the scammer Yes, God. Come on, Joe and the scammer. I heard trying to get these hard working black folks for their goddamn money. Girl, they said this man in Detroit, Michigan, I think New Era Bap, New Era Church or something like that. They said this man had the nerve to open up his mouth and ask these people to give one thousand dollars. If they didn't have one thousand to give three hundred. If you don't have three if you don't have no cash, then go to the ATM that's located outside. I said, I don't know why people are trying to act surprised. Baby, the new scam is being a pastor. <laughs> That's how this man drives a Rolls Royce, lives in a million dollar mansion. You ain't got no business asking, your, asking the church people for nothing, honestly. Okay, pay the tithe so we can keep the church up, so we can pay the light bill, whatever. But other than that, that's it. <laughs> Kiki, Kiki, Kiara Sherrod, what's her name? the Clark sister's daughter. All the saints out there that was dragging Leandra Johnson. I ain't heard y'all say a motherfucking word. Why y'all ain't saying nothing about this man out there getting these people for their money? Oh, y'all don't care about that. Y'all only care about the punks and the sissies and the dykes and the trannies and the girls that have babies out of wedlocks and the dudes who, you know, get these girls pregnant without me. That's the only thing y'all care about. Y'all don't care about the fact that you had Joel Osteen down here in Houston, Texas sending out a fucking link to donate money when people was out here running around screaming and crying trying to find somewhere to stay and he didn't even want to open up his church until it made national headlines that he didn't open up his church. And then he opened up his church. Y'all don't want to talk about how Eddie Long was posing in front of the mirror like he was America's Next Top Model and Spandex sending these boys these pictures. Y'all don't want to talk about that. Well, we're going to talk about it over here because that's what he was doing. Y'all don't want to talk about Creflo Dollar telling the church people how he needed a private jet to do God's work. He wanted them to buy him a private jet. <laughs> Y'all not, not going to talk about Jamal Bryant who was married to Giselle Bryant from Real Housewives of Potomac who was fucking bitches left and right and having kids out of wedlock. <laughs> and he's supposed to be a pastor. Y'all not going to talk about Kiara Sherrod, whatever her name is, and all these Juanita bombs around her having all this plastic surgery, getting their fucking nose broke, getting their fucking bodies cut open. I thought God made you in his image. I thought God don't make no mistakes. So if God don't make no mistakes, then when he made your ass fat and he made you have excess skin, that's what he meant to do. Fucking hypocrites. I can't stand their asses. And then all the punks. They want to run around and do their hair and makeup and shit. Like that shit is cute. They done called you all types of punks and sisters and said the only reason why you sleep with men is because you had to be molested. No, baby, I sleep with men because the motherfuckers is fine. Why you sleep with niggas? The same reason why you sleep with niggas is the same reason why I sleep with niggas because they fine as fuck. Bitch. It's motherfuckers around here who can't even pay they goddamn rent, pay they mortgage. I told y'all I got into with my ex, this dude I was dating. I don't even, even want to call him my ex-boyfriend. That's probably what he was though. I don't even want to call him that. I told y'all I got into with this dude I used to date. He told me I was being disrespectful because one time we was in church and the church was trying to raise money for um, the pastor to get a new car. And I told him he had me fucked up and he told me I was being disrespectful. And I told him, fuck you, fuck that pastor, fuck that church and fuck everybody else. I'm not giving my goddamn money to no goddamn pastor who I already got like two or three calls. That shit sounds stupid. He told me that it was important for the pastor to um, basically live a lavish lifestyle because it shows people what God can do for them. Girl, if you don't get out of my face with that fuck shit. <laughs> Girl. Yeah, he told me I was being disrespectful. Baby, that was probably about, ooh. I was in my 20s when this happened. When I was dating him, I was in my 20s. That's how long ago I started to peep game. 
That's how I, that's how long ago I started to peep this church game. Now some ain't right. Some ain't right. Now let me just say something. All churches are not bad. All churches are not bad. All pastors are not bad. You have some good pastors out there. You have some good people who go to church. Who not just gone. If they're gonna call out the gays, baby, they're calling out the gays. They're calling out the girls who got babies. They call they're calling out everybody. You see what I'm saying? I ain't got no problem with nobody who call out everybody. Where my issue come in is is most of the time, girl, if you hit this motherfucking car, we fighting. Yes. Old ass. Shout out to all the old people, but my grandmama old. I'm just saying. Girl, my grandma, girl, you know, I'm going to tell, tell a story about my grandmother. I, I was, I was going to call, girl, stop driving. Every time we look up, you bumping into something, girl. <laughs> so anyway, um, my issue is with the church people who only always harp on gay people. That's all you ever hear them talk about. They don't never talk about nothing else. They don't ever talk about the real issues. That's my issue. But no, every church, every person that go to church ain't bad. Every pa every pastor not bad. You know what it is though? It's these mega churches. I'm sorry, I'm gonna go ahead and say it. Baby, look, let me say something. When I was active in church when I was in high school, when I was a teenager, baby, the most the pal I think the pal I think I passed the one day end up getting a brand new Ford Explorer. But girl, that wasn't no different than what other people was driving. You see what I'm saying? But like, it ain't no way in hell that you gonna have a pastor driving a Rolls Royce and living in million dollar mansions and you know, they got vacation homes in other states. Like what? That's why I don't trust these men. It's always these mega churches though, like the Lake Woods. Mm-mm, 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 mm-mm. Girl, somebody heard, had the nurse that hit me up the other day and gonna tell me, yeah, I can go, it was that, I think that was the video I made about Kiki Sherrod, whatever her name is, gonna say, uh, she was telling me something about homosexuality, gonna start out by saying, calling me friend. Hey, girl, if you're watching this video, gonna start out by calling me friend, I'm gonna pray for you. Baby, first of all, don't call me friend, because we're not friends. You don't care about me, you don't wish me well, and don't pray for me. How about that? have a conversation all day long but don't come over here with that bullshit don't come over here trying to act like you something that you're not don't come over here acting like you care about me and we cool hey friend I just, i'm gonna pray for you don't pray for a motherfucking thing over here pray for the motherfuckers who you worship like pastor um eddie long and creflo dollar and joel Osteen. pray for them motherfuckers they, they don't want to need prayer i'm not here i'm not out here getting over no motherfucking body i can go to sleep every night Shit. Get the fuck out of my face with that bullshit. Baby, you wanna get me started, baby? Start baby, bring up some church people in my face, baby. I, girl. Girl, bye. Anyways. So yeah, them people down there in Detroit, Michigan cutting up. They talking about it was a terrorist group. No, it wasn't, baby. It was some people who realized they tired of these church people getting over people. And they're going to start calling y'all asses out one by one. I don't blame them. At all. Shit. People working too hard. You know what I'm saying? And, it, and it's just like, I blame it on the pastors, but I also look at the people like, what the fuck are y'all doing? Baby, let me tell y'all something real fast. Talking about you can't question a man or God. Yes, the fuck I can. Cause he not God, okay? Baby, if y'all can question God, y'all can question y'all can question man. Straight up. We question God all the time. Oh my God, why did he have to do that? Why he have to take my grandmama away? Why he have to take my mama away? Why he have to take my sister? Well, you question God all the time, but when it comes to these goddamn pastors, don't nobody want to say nothing. Well, I'm gonna say something. Fuck him. Fuck them. And fuck y'all damn near. I'm talking about the people who want to talk about us. <laughs> so not y'all. Not y'all watching my not y'all. Not y'all. I'm talking about the other ones, girl. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. Shit. You can't question a man of God. I'd be goddamn if I can't. What the fuck he gonna do to me? He ain't got no heaven or hell to put me in. Not one. 
Baby, when I'm in line, when I have to get in line and start answering for the shit that I done did, baby, he gonna be right behind me answering for the shit that he did. Girl, God don't need no assistant, okay? Especially not no Creflo Dollar or no Eddie Long or no Joe Osteen. Shit. Ooh, girl. Anyways, I think that's all I really had to say. Y'all done got my nerves worked up. Um... So yeah, I think that's all I really had to say. Y'all have a good night. Um, I'm about to go have me a drink and then I'm heading my ass back home. Um, well, I'm about to go, over, <laughs> I ain't gonna put y'all in my business, but I'm about to go have a drink at somebody's house. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm gonna be with her for a couple of hours. Bye y'all. Tell the church, tell the church, tell Kiki Sharon that I'm about to go have a drink at this man's house. Tell, tell her that he gonna molest me. Tell her I said that. Tell her that. Tell her he gonna molest me and I'm gonna molest him. <laughs> oh, yes, God.